hello beauties and welcome or welcome back again to another juicy video how are you guys doing the clock has moved one hour ahead and so now there is longer days and shorter nights it's past six o'clock but there is beautiful sunshine and we are out to enjoy some sunshine and i just decided to do a video talking to you guys and telling you about the child care options that you guys can choose from and this is because lots of you guys have been writing to me that you want to move to the uk or you're already here and you're planning on bringing your kids together but you're not too sure of how to look after them when they're already here because child care as i always say is a big issue in this part of the world and some of you guys wrote to me that you are here you've given birth to your children you have your children here and you're a bit upset because you can't work you don't have that flexibility to maneuver your way to work and you know bring up your children the way you want it and so this video is to address all of these concerns and to give you some guidelines or some tips to child care options that you guys can choose from some of you guys wrote to me asking um that if it's possible for you to move together with your spouses or your children at a go and the answer is a big yes because i know people that did that they move together with their partners they move together with their children at the same time and they still worked and they enjoyed their life so you can go through these child care options that i'm about to talk about and you choose whichever works best for you i hope you enjoyed this video drop a comment in the comment section let me know what you guys think if you are using a child care option that is working best for you please do want to share it in my comment section or if you are planning to use a child care option but you are not too sure let's interact in my comment section i hope you guys watch this video until the end and enjoy this video if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do want to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell icon so that anytime i make helpful videos you'll be the first person to be notified and be able to watch if you are new to my channel my name is becca and on this channel i talk about nursing i do lifestyle videos a little bit of me fun and positive vibes here and there so here in the uk you cannot leave children on their own at home until they turn age 13 years however you still have to work to make ends meet and so there have to be measures you put in place for the children to be safe and for you to also be able to work you know back home you can just chuck your children in somebody's house your relatives house your friends house you can just instruct somebody could you please pick my children from school when you're going for yours and they will stay with you till i come back from work but here is a different story it's a different ball game and you have to get that balance because you can lose your children if you don't look after your children and somebody tells social welfare or whatever it's called they can take your children away from you because it's neglect you are not looking after the children and so you need somebody to help you to look after the children i received an email from a lady who was a bit upset because she's here in uk she's giving birth she can't work because she needs to look after the child she's stuck with the child you are stuck for life <laughs> and she can't work because the child should be your priority but there is a way out and that is what i'm going to be discussing with you so the number one option is to shuffle between you and your spouse if you are planning to bring your children your spouse should be here with you so either your wife or your husband or your partner and what you should do is one person should work either days and the other work nights or one person should work whilst the other person is off it means one person should be at home at every point in time with the kids if the children are of school going age then one person can either do nights you close quickly you come home and by the time you get home the other one that is at home has already sorted the children out has bathed them has given them breakfast and then you the one that came from night you take them to school and when school finishes at three o'clock by then you would have rested a while you go and pick them from school you help them with their assignments and you prepare them for bed whilst you wait for your partner to come from work that is what most people do or alternatively you can give your partner's time schedule or your partner's rotor 
to your workplace and based on your partner's rotor they can give you your rotor as well so that at any point in time there is one person at home looking after the children so that is the number one option and that is the best option if you ask me because you are both the parents of the child and you know them well and i mean they have that uh you know they have both parents around with them and also once in a while you can both take your off days so you can be with these children you can go out with them and then they have that kind of you know uh, life with their parents being around them the second option is to look for a child minder so a child minder is somebody that you pay to look after your children and that can be quite expensive but if you can afford it go for it so sometimes the child minders take as high as 10 pounds per hour per child or as low as five pounds per hour per child it all depends on your location and it depends on i mean the agreement or understanding that you have with this child minder so if you're going to be out for 12 hours per day to go for your shift you pay the child minder per hour per child so if you have one child and if it's 10 pounds per hour it means for the 12 hours you're going to be paying 120 pounds if it is three children you have like myself and you are going to be out for 12 hours 120 per child times three that's 360 for the day so if you're not careful at the end of the month or at the end of the day you are just working for a child minder and i'm not sure your uh, your daily wage will be up to 350 if you're doing a regular job so the child minder is a good option but it's expensive so if you can't go for it you don't choose it there is another option that you can um, use and that is coming together as friends. So what some people are now doing is that when they are in a community, they look for friends or they look for fellow migrants and they come together if they are both parents or if they are all parents, they come together to schedule their time and to look after their children together. So let's say today, you all should be living in the same uh, location, obviously. So let's say today, let's say uh, for me, we are, let's say, four friends living in the same location. We all have children. What we can do is that if I'm off today, all the other three will bring their children to me to look after them. And the next time when I'm off or when I'm going on night duty, I also give my children to the other person that is available or to the other person that is off duty. So with this, our children even come together. They form a bond. They play together and they socialize the mothers also form a bond and come together and socialize or the parents come together to form a bond and socialize but this has to be a mutual understanding has to be a mutual agreement the mothers or the parents have to be like-minded people or open-minded people for this to be able to work so that nobody feels cheated you schedule and at any point in time one person takes the children of all of you and the next time the children move to the other person and then there is a fair play another option is also to find a support bubble or a relative who is already in the UK so you move close to live with that person so let's say for instance maybe you are living in um, North London or let's say you are living in the northern part of England and you have a relative who lives in Scotland or you have a relative who lives in uh, Northern Ireland or who lives in London you can move closer to your relative and then they can help you to look after the children so it just needs to be a mutual understanding the relative needs to understand that um you have kids and you want you need their support and then based on that when you are going to work they can take your kids uh for you especially if they are older you know relatives they can help you to look after your children so that is also another option another option is also to import your your mother or a family member from home so if i say import <laughs> it means you are bringing them over from overseas if your mother is alive it's a very best option for you to use you can bring your mother on a visa visa because she can live up to six months we have the two years visa visa we have the five years visa visa and with that if you are uh, your mother is granted five years visa visa or two years visa visa they can come in and go out every six months so they come in five months and two weeks and they go out and they come back again until two years or five years or for whatever period that it, their visas have been granted them or you can choose the six months visa and you renew it or you reapply 
every six months so your mother can come and with this your parents have to understand that they have to give you that support you have to talk to them for them to understand that you need their support here and then every six months they can come in to be with you and what you can do is that when your parents are leaving or when your mother is leaving to go back you can take your annual leave at that period when they are away so that you look after the children for that period until they are back to you know uh, take over from wherever they left so that is another option one may ask what if my mom is not alive your mom is not alive but your mom has a, a sister your husband or your partner has a relative an elderly person you should choose somebody who granting a visa to that person will be easier because most of the times if it's a young person they can't grant the person a visa but it can be a bit of a challenge but if it's an older person they know that this person is not going to gain anything from you know living in the country so it's easier for that person to have the visa so you can choose an elderly relative either your partner's uh you know mother your partner's auntie your own auntie i mean somebody that is elderly from back home to come and help you to look after your children so that is a very good option and it should be somebody you trust if it's not your mother or your father or your relative it should be somebody you trust somebody that can look after your children properly in your absence somebody that can instill good morals in your children another option which is not the best option but if worst comes to worst or worst case scenario you can use is that you can send your children back home and then they can come on a regular visit from time to time they come and then they go back home to live their lives there until the point that you feel you are stable and you are in the right frame of you know physical or whatever position it is to bring them over to look after them or you feel that uh, they are above 13 years they can look after themselves and you want them to come over so you can leave them back home for your parents or you can leave them back home for somebody you trust somebody that can look after them properly for you whilst you concentrate on your work over here and then when they are above that age limit they can move over to join you and live an independent life whilst you also concentrate on your work so these are the child care options that you guys can go through and use whichever one you think works best for you and let me know in the comment section which one you are using that is working for you or which one you plan to use that you think is going to work for you so that together we interact in my comment section this is what i have to tell you guys until we meet again in my next video guys it's bye for now adios